24 Porsche Macan S and GTS. Difference between the two being $14,500. It's in performance upgrade, the GTS having 443 horsepower versus the S 375 horsepower. But just let's take them on a quick drive each to see what differences I could feel in the way each of them drive to see if it's actually worth almost $15,000 to go to the GTS. So let's do the S first. I could just tell by walking up to it that because of the suspension difference, the S sits a little higher than the GTS. So this S is optioned out to be $92,000. It's not heavily optioned, mostly uh, design options, nothing performance enhancing in the car. So at least we'll have a good baseline to see how it drives. Okay, so straight off, um, because it doesn't have the Sport Chrono package where you have the mode selector here in the steering wheel, it only has the option to go to Sport down here on the center console. It's going to stiffen up the shock, hold the shifts uh, longer, um, also will downshift faster. So I'm just going to drive this in a loop uh, just as I would if I were just in a hurry. I'm not going to drive this like uh, a racetrack, just spiritedly and see how it handles. Acceleration's fine. 375 horsepower and a, a Macan is plenty of power so far. Uh, there was a car uh, pulling out at that light that was right behind me and I had no problem leaving it. It wasn't like I felt like I was in its way, even though it was pretty close to me. Nice downshifts, handles nice around the curves. That's good, I held the shift to like 60 for 5,500 and I wasn't flooring it. On ramp, sweeper, very nice. 75 and it held it fine, not a problem. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to get Pass that guy on the right, let's pass him on the left. No problem. No problem at all. Plenty of power. I could tell the, the thing that you could tell the difference at between the base model and the S is how loud the motor is. Because the base model only has a four cylinder motor, it feels similar as far as um, how fast it is and how much grunt it has. I mean, you could tell the difference in speed, but because the base model's four cylinder, it sounds like you're going faster because it's louder, because it has to work harder to push the car. So, um, so yeah, the, the just doesn't, it's not, not as much drama in the S when you're going fast, but definitely don't feel like I need more power in this S as I would say if I were driving a base and I was trying to get around that truck, I would probably have to floor it. Or in this car, I didn't have to push it at all. I love this sweeper. Feels like a racetrack. Okay, and just automatic, nice downshifts. Quick, not fast, but plenty. Like, like just driving around town, I feel like I would have no problem getting around any car that I wanted to get around at any time. Handles nice and flat. I would prefer to drive this in manual only because on that turn I could tell it was and the, the gearing was too tall for how much I had to push on the accelerator to get it to go it needed a little bit more grunt and if I was driving in, in manual I would be in second gear instead of third and it would have just went a little quicker these PDK transmissions are extremely fast so driving it with the paddles is so satisfying because as soon as you let go of that paddle it's in the next gear, up or down, doesn't matter. It's very much, um, you could very much tell that it's not a normal automatic transmission. 
In fact, they say that the PDK transmission is closer in design to a manual transmission than to an automatic transmission. It's just because it's a dual clutch, you're always in one gear up or down so that no matter what you want to, where you want to shift up or down, it immediately knows or goes to that gear because it's halfway or it's already selected in both gears. It just has to let go of the proper clutch and you're in gear. So PDK, 375 horsepower, Macan, um, it is almost perfectly proportioned as far, far as power to the car. So now let's go drive a GTS to see what a 443 horsepower Macan feels like when you drive it. See if it's worth that extra almost $15,000. Okay, in the GTS has a sports chrono dial here so I could change between sport, sport plus, individual which lets you like design the suspension separately than the motor and the exhaust and things like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drive it in sport. I'm going to uh, it has air suspension so I'm going to lower the car to its lowest point. It has Porsche torque vectoring. And uh, so let's uh, drive this spiritedly and see how uh, see that how the GTS feels. Again, all in automatic, not uh, shifting in manual. Yeah, uh, very much <laughs> can tell the difference between the S and the GTS. It even sounds different, like you hear more intake noise, uh, the exhaust is different, especially when you have it in sport, it turns the exhaust louder. It'll be interesting to see uh, on video how this sounds as far as uh, the difference. Handles nice and flat. Again, in, in automatic, it just held that gear, it can, it can tell the way I'm driving that it wants to uh, stay in the power band. Yeah, that was so fast that I felt I had to lift. Even as I went over that little hump in the turn, I got a little chirp out of the tires. Uh, this, uh, you could definitely tell the difference in the horsepower. This is peak. <laughs> And it sounds more uh, raspy, the, like the whole the whole experience when you're driving it hard. I mean, I wasn't flooring it; I was probably 90% of pedal. And uh, it, there's a lot going on, a lot of drama going on with the motor to go along with the speed. But I could definitely feel the difference in speed between 375 and 443 horse. But it handles nice and flat. Um, you almost can feel the difference in the way that the traction's putting down it from feeling rear traction to front traction pulling. I felt that on acceleration, like the difference of it wanting to pull versus push. Of course, if the S feels like it has plenty of power to get around traffic. Oh yeah, that's prodigious power. I, I definitely feel like I have to lift. Woo! Yeah, that is, uh, that's serious. <laughs> that's no joking around. It, it doesn't do it justice when you're not in man, or uh, shifting manually. So you can stay in the gear you want. It's a much more smoother experience because if you're if it's just trying to tell by your accelerator pedal and the and the dynamics of how you're driving, it's not it's not it's not as smooth is what I could say. No problem getting around anybody. And then when you just cruising it's very docile I mean it just feels it feels just like an S when you're just at like 5% accelerator pedal very quiet 
have a normal conversation. But when you get on it, it I mean, all, literally all hell breaks loose. Say it stayed in third. It should have. It should have kicked down. You could almost feel the back end wanting to kick out around the turns. It's like you could. You could feel the the torque vectoring, the transmission uh, locking between front and rear differentials, putting the power to the wheel that it needs. Very stable though. This gives you so much confidence to drive fast. And that's the one thing I like about Porsches is no matter what car you drive at what level, whether it's a $65,000 base Macan or a $200,000 Turbo S, it's like they all give you so much confidence to drive fast safely. You never feel like you're out of control. So final thoughts on uh, S versus GTS. S is plenty of power. If you just need a, a Porsche Macan for the space, for driving around, for mountain trips, for anything, you're gonna never need more power than the Macan S at 375 horsepower. However, if you want a race car experience in a Macan, the GTS is it. You're gonna pay $15,000 to get all the sounds that a race car gives you. I mean, it's hard to explain. I hope it comes across in video when you see it, but there's so much going on in front of you and behind you with the sound that that's what makes the difference in the experience. It really sounds like you're going faster, even though on paper, it's probably less than a second apart as far as actual speed goes. So we're up to me and it was money no object, definitely get the GTS. But uh, if you're concerned more with the budget, then the S is plenty.